This is Brian Shannon once again on Thursday, uh, the 26th of October, 2006. And on the screen right now, I've got uh, the stock Gevity HR Incorporated, GVHR is the symbol. Now, the last uh, couple weeks, I've been making it very clear that we're in a high-risk environment for individual stocks because we're in the middle of earnings seasons. That, that If you're going to be holding stocks overnight, you have to check to see when the earnings reports are due so you don't get blindsided. Now, I had no idea that GVHR was reporting earnings. I didn't sell the stock short yesterday, so I had no reason to check. If I was short the stock, uh, I would have checked and noticed that they did report last night. And if you didn't check, which I know one person did, didn't do, who, who held overnight, um, you know, you got stopped out up here on the open. And yesterday we had sold the stock short at about 2135, right around in here, after it, you know, behaved very, uh, the, the way we expected it to. Um, and then we were trying, we we're going to lower our stop down to $21.42. But again, showing us that risk reward is nothing more than theory. It's all theoretical. It's only as good as the information going in. If you didn't know the earnings were due out and you held, well, then that little profit that you had, you know, locked into to this uh, GVHR turned out instead to be a loss. So, again, you have to be very careful. And I'm not going to always take the time to check for earnings reports because I'm not interested in that so much. But if during the day I've got a good position that's working for me and I feel like holding the stock overnight, you better believe I'm going to check to see when the earnings reports are. And I'm not always going to share that on the blog because uh, it's just more work than I'm interested in doing. And you've got to take personal responsibility for these trades. And by the way, the person who did uh, get stopped out of it was not complaining by any means. So I just want to, to make that clear as well. Um, let's take a look at the stocks I mentioned last night. Applied Materials, AMAT. We've been looking at the uh, bullish divergence in the semiconductors based on that hourly time frame, and we've seen it here in AMAT as well. AMAT, you know, came down to the rising 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average isn't a place to buy. It's an inflection point, a place to get interested in buying because a lot of other people tend to stop selling when the stock gets down to the 50-day moving average, and they t tend to start putting bids in or covering their shorts near that 50-day moving average. So it's an inflection point that gets us interested in looking at the bigger picture, the, or the smaller picture, rather. The smaller picture on the shorter-term time frame, we see here this bullish divergence on the MACD. And by the way, if you haven't seen that video, it's on the right-hand side of my uh, blog there about the MACD and, and the strategy that I, that I uh, outlaid there. But basically... What it means is the selling wasn't as severe on this leg lower. That the, that means the the uh, emotion uh, wasn't as strong on on that leg lower. Therefore, it might be ready for a move higher. The way we wanted to play this stock today was to buy it above seventeen dollars and forty cents. The stock got above there. Now it's above all these moving averages. We've got the five-day moving average advancing here again. We're looking for the stock to rally up to about eighteen dollars and twenty cents. In at $17.40, and now I would say raise your stop at this point from $17.15 to $17.41. So you're going to be stopped out of this one theoretically uh, with, you know, basically break even in uh, applied materials. CMED, this is China Med Holdings uh, or China Med Technologies, what we're looking for in this stock was a pullback, first of all, to $24.75, and then we were going to buy it on some strength. You can see the pullback never did materialize. The stock had a nice run, but it went without me for sure because it didn't make that pullback, and uh, there should have been no purchase in there. If you were going to purchase it, you know, wait for the gap, and then as the stock pulls back and then starts to regain strength like it does right here, that would be a good place to buy it with your stop under the low of the day, but officially no play in there. Uh, Dynavax, symbol DVAX. I had posted uh, because uh, Matt had, had, had pointed out that um, these guys are due to report after the close today. Um, I don't know if they're out yet. I'm not checking that. But here we have the stock. You know, we wanted to buy it above $6.40. With a stop at 613, I said late in the day, hey, basically, I'd suggest you don't hold this stock overnight. It's just gambling holding in front of earnings like that. So right now, I'm going to say you should have been out of this trade at some point today. 
whether you made money or lost was up to your trading skills. There was plenty of opportunity in here to make some money, but uh, officially I'm going to say we did not take uh, participation in that the trade for uh, DVAX. The one short sale stock we looked at was BioChrist Pharmaceuticals, symbol BCRX. And BioChrist, we had seen some strength late day yesterday, a continuation of that strength here today, where it rallied right up to that declining five-day moving average. And our intention was to sell it short below 11.55. That would be right there. I would say right now you should lower your stop to break even in BioChrist. And finally, the one low price stock that we had been looking at was this CMGI Incorporated. I did buy this stock. Um, it's you know closed back above that 200-day moving average, and now I think that sets the sights, uh, sets the stock up for a test of you know 145 or so, which was our original target, 140 to 145. And I still think that looks reasonable. The stock you know rally, declined on decreasing volume. It pulled back to that rising 10-day moving average on decreasing volume. Today we had a nice increase in that volume, and the play in there was to buy it above. A dollar twenty-four, right in here. So you should have purchased it at a buck twenty-five. I'd suggested the stop go at one nineteen. I would say right now you want to set your stop at break-even in CMGI.